was saucer shaped. I could see the little legs on it, like little pods on the bottom. It got bigger and it got brighter. So they were just alternating like that. Residents recounting UFO sightings have become strangely familiar in Elmwood, a small western Wisconsin community whose residents have reported a whopping 100 UFO encounters in the last decade. We probably have UFOs coming all over town here. I'm Tanya from Lucal. At first glance, it looks like an army of aliens is overrunning Elmwood. Actually, the only invaders are thousands of curious visitors gathering for the town's annual UFO Day celebration, a three-day extravaganza that pays tribute to the town's faraway friends. Elmwood calls itself the UFO capital of the world, and most say the town lives up to its billing. Where else do you see residents strut the latest in extraterrestrial fashion or cruise Main Street with famous aliens? About the strangest date I've had in quite a while. You might say Elmwood is cashing in on its close encounters at its souvenir shop, filled with UFO memorabilia boasting of the town's claim to fame. Others try the latest in far-out cuisine, the UFO burger, a combination ground beef, cheese, and sauerkraut guaranteed to hit the spot. How does it taste? Out of this world. It's coming down now with flying saucers. You can redeem them right here at the food tent. Those who prefer real encounters can hear dozens, many sounding like the latest Steven Spielberg script. We had a UFO attack last year. <laughs> yes, I was we were hit by... He described it as about the height when he flies over town. Dolores Radke is one of those who helped get the first UFO days off the ground a decade ago. It's brought people to town. It's given us a, a spirit. UFO Days brings back memories for residents like Hobbs Wilson, whose encounters a few years back brought him within 15 yards of two glowing objects. What would happen if they'd land here? Would I get in with them or would I fight them? I decided to join the crowd and go with them and see what happens. Elmwood still has some skeptics, not many. Most, like Robert Long, take the sighting seriously. You've got to believe in something. I'm not saying they are and I ain't saying they ain't, but if they're going to be any place, they'll be in Elmwood. Long after the crowds leave and the UFO replicas are put away for yet another year, Elmwood residents will patiently wait for the real thing to return. Hobbs Wilson, for one, is hoping for a second look at those UFOs that have captured the hearts and minds of an entire town. Rob Krivick, New Center 13, Elmwood.